végétal. I wouldn't say that I eat healthy, but I try to add healthy food to my daily diet whenever possible. When fall came, I got more excited to cook and eat healthy food. Oranges and lemons, cabbages and root vegetables are now in season and have entered the markets. I like to buy and eat a lot of vegetables and fruits. Here in Rodos, they are mostly local and fresh, which you can also tell by the taste. In addition, they are relatively cheap. Since life is busy and there is not always time to cook healthy meals, I try to prepare healthy foods in advance for the fridge when I do have the time. A couple of times a week I prepare a larger portion of homemade food which my family eats for the next two or three days. I try as much as possible to prepare the food myself from scratch from basic ingredients. By doing this, I know what I eat, that the food is healthy, and that it also tastes good. In addition, it brings a homely smell, especially if I have time to bake, which I rarely have. In Greece, this is also cheaper. There aren't many ready meals here, and the ones there are, they are expensive and they don't taste good. In Greece, good food is valued and it is a custom to prepare it yourself. I have tried all kinds of diets. I get excited about a new diet for a while and over time I go back to my old eating habits. However, I have learned something from each diet and book I've read. For several years now, I have preferred more organic and local food. I like to eat banana almost every day. It's so easy food to grab when you're in a hurry or take it with you for the road. Unlike apple, because I like to peel the apple because of the chemicals on the, on the peel. I like to avoid in general the chemicals and the toxins and the, and the poisons in the, in the foods. My grandma, she was very aware of the chemicals on the peel. She would first wash the apple carefully with a brush and then she would peel it so the poisons wouldn't go from her fingers back to the apple, I assume. Then she would uh, chop the apple in very small pieces and put it nicely on a plate and a little fork on the side. She was born 1906 and in her lifetime the appreciation of, of food was co some, something completely different. I also heard that she even washed uh, raisins. I like to avoid all processed foods in general 
the shorter the ingredient list, the better for me. I remember once Jamie Oliver said that if there is a word in the ingredient list that you don't understand, then you shouldn't eat it. It's not good for you. It's not healthy. I really like these kind of practical, simple things. I think that there is wisdom in simplicity. The Greeks, they like to deep fry certain foods, for example, sliced potatoes. I don't do that at all. I don't even have a deep fryer. I think this comes also partly from the Finnish culture, because in Finland we either boil the food or cook it in the oven or in a pot. My Greek husband, he's, he's not complaining. He's used to this. He doesn't miss the fried foods. In the summer though, when it's really hot, and for obvious reasons, I do not want to turn on the oven. I use a lot of frying pan, and when I fry foods, I use coconut oil. I read that it's really good for you, it's healthy, and it stands high temperatures better from olive oil. Olive oil I like to use for salads, cold dishes, or after I finish cooking, I put it, I add the olive oil at the end. This coconut oil, the ingredients is coconut oil, and I also use it as a, as a skin care on my face, and you can use it as a conditioner in your hair. I wouldn't add it on the roots, it would make your hair look really greasy. Then there's also superfoods, like uh, peanut butter. I like to use peanut butter. Uh, it has proteins and so-called good fats. A few of my friends are bodybuilders and they like to eat peanut butter to grow muscle mass. Then I also have uh, tahini. It's 100% uh, Let me see. 100% creamed sesame, natural. For example, from tahini and peanut butter, I make my own protein bars. I add seeds and nuts, uh, sometimes quinoa, whatever I have. I sweeten it with honey. I add some coconut oil and dark chocolate on the top. I eat butter. I'm not afraid of uh, fats, animal fats. People have been surviving on, on animal fats for thousands of years. I don't see them unhealthy. I'm not afraid of uh, any health issues with, uh, with animal fats. Although in Greece, um, before, the meat was eaten much more rarely. For example, still before Easter, people they fast 40 days before the Easter feast, where they grill the entire lamb or a, or a goat. And there was a ceremony involved. It was, the food was appreciated. For yogurt, dairy products, I, I prefer full fat yogurt. This is local, made in Rodos. The same with the, my milk, Apollo, Rodos milk, whole milk. I like my dairy as close as it is when it comes from a cow or another animal. And then there are those days when I don't have time to cook. And for us, this usually means spaghetti with ready sauce and some cheese on the top. I found this ready sauce recently from the markets. It's local and there's no preservatives. Its only ingredients is vegetables. I am really glad that I, I found this sauce. It's really tasty. It's really good. I have noticed that when I read about the health effects of different foods, I get excited to eat more of them. And when I eat them, I am also aware of how good they are for my health and well-being. Mitä se sieltä halusit syödä? Mitä sä halusit täti kokka? Tai halusit itse kokata? Ai niin, tän sä halusit. Aha. Kika kaviki. Aha. Entäs toi? Entäs, haluatko sä toi? Tuota. Onko se toi hyvä? Tupulista. Älä tee jälleen, että se on ato. Aki se. Sen sä haluaisit. Okei. Okay. 
I like fried eggs and omelettes, but for some reason I feel much better after eating boiled eggs instead. I like to listen to what my body tells me. Greeks often use quite a lot of oil and salt. After such a meal, I feel somewhat sick and endlessly thirsty. You don't necessarily notice the amount of salt while eating, but you do notice it from the amount of thirst and how your body stores liquid. We eat bread every day. I myself have been trying to replace it lately with quinoa, chickpeas, seeds and nuts. It would be wonderful if I had time to bake myself sometimes. Self-baked bread is not the same as store-bought bread. You can taste the difference. I also often think beforehand how I feel after eating. If a certain type of food lowers my energy level after eating or I otherwise don't feel good, I automatically avoid those foods. What comes to the amount of food, I'm almost never hungry and never too full. We eat meat quite moderately, especially when my husband stated one day that he is not very interested in eating meat anymore. Here for lunch I just fried our butcher's homemade chicken nuggets, which are made from chicken meat. Our butcher also makes his own ground beef steaks, which are whole meat. I usually cook meat about once a week. I like to make stews and I put about half a kilo of meat, which gives a nice broth because I don't use knorr at all and then I fill the pot with vegetables. The best broth for soups comes from bones. They have a lot of zeladin, which is good for bad joints. In the evening we eat basic home food, which usually means potatoes, rice or pasta. In the winter I also often make soup. Because I don't deny myself any food, I never feel like I am failing. In this sense, I am quite kind to myself. I don't focus on what I shouldn't eat, but what I should. I put my focus on the positive. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.